Hello, hello, mic check one, two. We'll be getting started here in about three minutes. Welcome everybody. Gosh, look at all you fine individuals out there. Welcome to the official Rockfish Game stream. I'm your host, Eric, your community ambassador, and I am joined by this fellow right over here. Look at him, look at that guy. You see him over there, look, it's Gary. Ah, oh, say hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> We're both gonna be joining you today and exploring some uh, new territory within the Incursions update. Uh, this gameplay session I'll be doing is gonna be a continuation of what we've been doing in Nightmare Difficulty for quite some time. Um, I have figure of eight up on screen because this is what we showed two weeks ago, but the iconography was updated. So that's the first new reveal right off the bat. Yay, new iconography. <laughs> um, we did have a little uh, article that came out just recently. So if you guys missed that, at the very least, I'll be showing you the legendary items that were shown within that. I'm not gonna be using them all. We're not gonna see them used in game, but we can at least show them in game and talk about them a little bit, you know, if you guys have those curiosities and questions. We are also doing the same thing we did from two weeks ago, allowing RNG to decide if we are going to show a specific legendary or not. And if it fails us, I will pull a new legendary and showcase it. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna get new content. We're gonna get new content. Okay, so Gary, you're gonna vanish. I'm gonna take over some gameplay here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'll come back whenever we are answering questions. We'll have certain intervals during the stream where we'll answer any questions that you guys have. There's plenty of questions, I'm sure, uh, through everything we'll be doing today. So uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Let's get into this. I am gonna be using figure of eight, by the way. Like I absolutely unlocked it and showcased it. So let's just continue where we left off. So <clears throat> we have our outlaw hunt that we wanted to do. We've been starting to explore Drake a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I wanna keep, keep pursuing this, probably do some side missions um, and seeing uh, what happens. I don't 
Did we do gang wars yet, actually? I can't even remember. We did. Or we haven't. No, we haven't. We could probably start doing gang wars. Might be a good one to do. This is a lot of fun, actually, and there's lots of drops. So a good chance at a new legendary, probably. Uh, let me know what the sound is like. If it's too quiet, I can bump it up a little bit. Gone through so many audio adjustments. It's actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> In this corner! Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so good. Alright, got a good feel for stuff. Oh, I guess I should mention... Oh, this is important. For those who have been like watching the full gameplay of this from start to finish, um, you'll notice my cargo is rather empty based on the end of last stream. I went ahead and I just organized my cargo before the stream started and it took me like 15 minutes. I just figured we'd cut to the chase and get into the gameplay. So if you're wondering where did all his stuff go, why does he have more credits? That That's why, I that, that's that's the only reason. I'm, I'm not doing any shenanigans here, I promise. No shenanigans, not yet at least. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Inventory management is the best part of the game. You know, there, there's parts of that. There's parts of that that's true. Yeah, I just figured for the stream and people wanting to get into the new content, we'd probably focus it in to get to the new content. You guys are wonderful today. Oh my gosh, so much, so much energy out there. Ah, it's so good. So good. Shenanigans needs to be a ship name. I actually, I agree with that. Let's make it happen, team. The shenanigans ship. Very good. Okay. So we're going to go to some locations that are really demanding on the computer. We're going to see how it functions during the stream. If it's an utter failure, I can provide some tricks to keep things relatively smooth. But I've actually noticed, for whatever reason, maybe it's because I had a tech guy help me out optimizing the stream more, but... Things are much more smooth now. So we're gonna be hopeful that this is all gonna work out in our favor. <clears throat> Whew. So many chatters from all over, from YouTube, from Twitter, or from Twitch, excuse me. And we've got we've got our faithful from Facebook as well. I love it. I love seeing all of you guys sneaking in the chats and having a good time. End of the week. Feels good, topping things off with some fun news and shows. All right, this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, pretty tricky. No, I did not get a, a CPU upgrade. No, no, no. I optimized my computer specs a bit to make my computer uh, not be as upset with me. <laughs> Look at that. I even upgraded my computer to where I have a G key on the keyboard now. I know. Pretty <laughs> wild stuff. Just because he's got one doesn't mean you're going to find it. <laughs> Probably fair. All right. Keep your eyes peeled for a legendary drop because I'm probably going to miss it. You guys will spot it. I'm going to be so focused on the combat and your guys' chatter. So much chatter today. I love it. Ooh. Forgot how many turrets there are out here, and I forgot how much damage they do. That'll be fine for now. Ooh, that explosion sound seemed better or different. I made that joke last stream, didn't I? Right. For those who missed it, new explosion sounds. Ooh. 
Ooh. I will take that. These are a little bit harder to find, this resource. Coruscate? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Who came up with these naming conventions? I have no idea. Lots of resources. That feels good. Okay, so I think we're going to go down here. There's going to be a cutscene that plays, probably. Yep. I'm going to skip it. Because I'm here for gameplay! And you guys are here for questions. If you have questions on the story, I suppose we can, you know, discuss that. But, uh... We're not really going to be showing the story, aside from what has to be shown, of course. Oop, oop. We have to be a little bit careful here because we don't want to uh, get pulverized. Our armor is not the best, um, but it's a legendary armor, so the benefit it provides is awesome. We might need to start considering an armor upgrade. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like saying that at all. I really like our plating. But we are nearing the time in which progression says, you must address this. Oh yeah, uh oh. Oop. Remember how we died to that attack like three times last stream? I've learned my lesson. All right, a lot of loot dropping. Ooh, an optimized treasury unit? We might have to take a look at that. Whoa! I'm gonna try and help Alec out a little bit. As the figure of eight legendary sucks everything in. Nice little singularity can come in handy in a pinch. Whew. Man, okay, so I'm gonna say something that maybe is weird. But whenever you guys are like playing a video game in general, the environment thereof that you're playing within. Does it like have an effect on you? Like a side effect where it's like you actually feel warmer when you're in a warm location? You guys know what I'm talking about? Am I crazy here? I'm totally getting that right now. Like I feel, I feel warmer and it's just like I'm seeing all this fire and all of these explosions surrounding me. And like, I legitimately am like, my body temperature is rising. And if we, we were in a cold environment, absolutely the opposite would happen. My fingers would start going numb and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I need to put on some gloves or something. Does that happen to you guys? Eric is fully immersed in game hotness. Yes, you got me. I'm, I'm liking how others are saying, yep, definitely happens to me too. Yeah, good, good. I'm glad to be affirmed in this regard. I am not crazy. Next level immersion, right? like your body is so ready for the experience it just says you know what i feel it literally try and get a couple more of these turrets uh fun little ui improvement at least i'm pretty sure this is a new one but if you actually look at my weapon right now you'll see that we updated so that the ultimate has its own little symbol for the weaponry see on the lower left If you missed it, you missed it. But there's been little tweaks and details like that that we've just kind of been uh, continually evaluating and say, do we need something here? Yes, no, maybe. And uh, just trying to clean things up a little bit more. There's gonna be a lot of little details like that actually that you could probably catch if you're paying close attention here. But also keep in mind guys, um, 
while there is going to be lots of little things, because we've been putting in a lot of freaking work for this incursions update that's launching this spring, um, we are still we still have a lot that we are not showcasing yet. There's still a lot that's very intentionally being uh, kept behind so that we can continue to polish it, continue to refine it, continue to make it the absolute best it can be so that when we do show you, it's going to be meaningful. It's going to be good. Great stuff takes time to produce and uh, it's no different here. The reason this update isn't out yet is because it's not ready yet. That, that's it. That's the reason. So thanks for your patience. Because man, we're having some fun. Now, I don't know if uh, many of you know this. You probably do. I'm seeing a lot of individuals who, who are returning. But for those who don't know, um, Admiral Zealous is actually um, an inclusion into the game because of one of our backers. So we had a number of different Kickstarter tiers for including specific content into the game. Not a lot of slots to do so, but we did want to have some uh, creative power handed over to you guys. And so the whole Zerulia faction it was polished up and improved through one of our Kickstarter backers, with the boss being the Kickstarter themselves. Yeah, okay, I'll be sure to pass along the message. Thanks for calling. Uh, have a nice day. Why do I get the feeling there's more to this story than Ming Young was letting on? I do want to just do a quick sound check one more time. Is the audio for the game? You guys, is it is that good? Is that fine? Should be able to resist the temperature from this. Want to make sure. Good. You will need to attain proximity so I can override its mainframe and program it to reach the coalition. Sure. Just got to get out of here and find it. All right. Hmm. Ooh. All right, there we go. Good, good. Man, this synchro pulse just, oh, it requires so much energy. I love it, but jeez. Oh, oh, that's, that's damage. Oh. Ah, there we go. Look at all our health just immediately come back. Thank you, figure of eight. What a wonderful combo attack with our nano device. But jeez Louise, that is way too much damage. Way more than I would like it to be. Guess I'm glad we could pull that trick off, because otherwise we would be totally dead right now. Oh, come on! Woo! Who needs whole points anyway, am I right? Health in games is just an illusion. <laughs> All right, much better. Oh my gosh. Let's see if that does the trick. Pop. Oh, beautiful. A nice little singularity. Very, very pleasing, honestly. All right, so let's go get our drone. Enough flapping about. See the try the railgun for these kinds of encounters. Honestly, railgun would be pretty dang useful here. I'm I really like uh, getting directly into the combat. It's it's like it's my double-edged sword because it's so satisfying when you just completely dive into the fray. 
but it's also reckless. <laughs> the odds of death certainly increase. <laughs> All right, we are going to, what obstacle is in our way? Excuse me? I would like to super light out, please. There we go. Oh, the shield. Yeah, the shield was up. You're right. You're right, Spoot Knight. Oh my gosh, I should have known that. Yeah, that was actually, at one point we had, um, whenever the front shield generator was up, there were a couple of weird situations that would occur uh, with how the pilot was interacting with other tools. For example, if you had the front shield generator and you teleported, at a point in time, this was fixed, but the teleport would recognize the front shield and was in front of you. And because teleport doesn't go through walls, it would literally just teleport you like um, barely forward because it would stop at the front shield generator. That was fixed. Uh, but there are still certain rules that we did need to have applicable to that. So as to not, um, you know, create further issues, shall we say. Very, very good. I'm not seeing a lot of questions, guys. Don't. Don't uh, forget that while we're having a lot of fun in these streams and we really love uh, having this beautiful engagement, this is a great opportunity for you guys to ask questions that you have about Rockfish, which we recently hit our 10 year anniversary. 10 years! Woo! Crazy. There's a YouTube video of Uva, who's the creative director, and Michael, who's the CEO. They're, they're having a good time and they're talking about a lot of different things, honestly. It's like a 40 minute long video. Highly recommend watching it if you're really curious about game dev at all, or if you're just a big fan of Rockfish and the history thereof. It is quite a nice little watch. All right. <clears throat> you have our gratitude for your brave action. Thank you. All right, let's see, let's repair up. We should probably fairly strongly consider some upgrades you know, I I do need to look at the ship dealer uh, because I do think we need to find something better to fly. But first, just a quick look here. Organize, please. There we go. I think I'm going to keep things as clear as possible. At least as best I can do. So the, oh, that's a rascal. Okay, can't forget about that. Oh man, I really like this energy core. That that regeneration for enemies that get EMP'd. Do we replace it? I don't think we do. I mean, that Shiva Ener Energizer is really good. But I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep our current. I think we're gonna keep our current. Man, woo, some of these options. 20% more credits found. I don't necessarily know if we need to be overly concerned about that, but the fact that this has firepower and structure and reduced boost energy consumption, I think that's actually what we're going for. We lose four cargo slots, but that's okay. That's okay. So let's do that. I uh, already have a system recovery team. Okay. Nano repair kit. I'm not worried about that. Hmm. I want to have one nanobot at least, uh, but man, it's the small one. That could be not, not enough. But we're going to go ahead and just, uh, we're going to wing it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's a lot less energy consumption on this Salvor high velocity Jaeger, which is the reason why I'm actually considering it. Yes, the damage is less, but it's going to be able to be fired for a much longer time period. And that is something that um, I'm considering here. Killing an enemy with this weapon has a 10% chance to refill your currently equipped secondary weapon by one. Ooh. Combo with our figure of eight. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. And then attuned energy core. No, thanks. A lot of options here to consider. We are going to go ahead and sell the ones that we swapped out. Oh, yep, I'm doing it. We're committed. We're committed. All right. 
Is it the Salvor from Foundation? No, no, no. Uh, Salvor Armament Group, I, th I think is what they're called. Um, they are uh, they are a, a organization, a, a what's a manufacturer, that's the word. They're a manufacturer that was established within the Everspace universe, even with Everspace One. Um, they produced materials like actually the Seeker Missile Battery, which is now kind of getting brought into Everspace 2 with Ritual, which you guys have seen um, from the article uh, yesterday. And I also did show it uh, at the end of last year. So they, they produce stuff like that, Salver Armament. Is it Salver Armament Group or Salver Armament Industries? It's something like that. Something like that, but yeah. All right, we got ourselves repaired up. I want to fly to the next location of what we need to do once we are within that space and tackling the needs of it. We're going to start answering some of the questions that I have built up. Doesn't look like there's many. So if you guys want to sneak in a question on my flight over, now is the time. Because we'd love to answer your questions. I see uh, Andrew over on YouTube saying there's a cool background chatter dialogue where they talk about finding a field of cosmic pollen. That's a beautiful thing to imagine. Interesting. We uh, we actually took a lot of your guys love and praise of the banter between Adam and Hive. And um, yeah, we've been considering some additions to that. That might be something to... Uh, Keep your ears open for the future. So I'm loving the questions coming in. Thanks, guys. And we will answer them in just a moment. Just a moment. I want to see if I can... Oh, actually, this is... I this is the... This is the bombing run. This is actually going to be a while. So, yeah. Okay. We're going to... We're going to pause right as we go into this site. And we'll just start answering questions... Uh, as soon as Gary appears on the screen. Gary, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there he is. Look at him. Beautiful. <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> yeah, so so what questions do you have? What do we got? Right. We've got a few lined up. Yeah, he did entice them a little bit there. Uh, first up, we've got uh, Wizard Jerry over on YouTube. And he'd like to know, uh, speaking of the UE5 migration, which is, is coming soon, uh, will it be available on Mac and any other platform apart from PC? So the, the migration is affecting the Everspace 2 game as a whole on every location that it is available. Um, so, and this is not because of some sort of like crazy revamp and additions and all this stuff. Uh, for anybody who is not aware of the migrate into Unreal Engine 5, this is being done so that we can continue loving and supporting on the game and getting that uh, rich support from Epic in that process. If we were to have kept it in Unreal Engine 4, things would have been a little bit... Um, bumpier, shall we call it, uh, for us to continue adding more content into Everspace 2. And because we want to do that, we want to enrich the game. It only made sense for us to migrate forward. Um, and as such, it's going to affect every single location. And when I say affect, I really mean it's going to apply. Let me use that term. It's going to apply to every location. From a standpoint of how it functions, uh, the the experience that you overall have, it should be exactly the same or dang near close to it. We're not trying to sneak in anything and trying to do something new. So if you have like a potato of a PC and you're concerned that we're bumping everything up to 11, you don't need to be. If you were running it fine before, it's going to run fine after. Uh, it's just the process of uh, keeping things supported and healthy and, and, and fair. Yeah. Good question. Good question. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, right. Uh, switching to Twitch this time, Overland Gamer. Uh, they're a console player, and they've got to ask, when random signals, uh, unknown signals, pop up on the screen while fast traveling to your next destination, have we considered a quick button to quickly shift to the new signal? Because they're a console player, they said that it'd be quite handy just to click a button and then be directed straight there. I can understand that, but there aren't any plans to it. Um, I could see that as a level of convenience just to like align it very quickly, but we have the system designed in a way to where if you want to branch off from your path and freely move in any direction, you just disable that warp drive and then you turn and face wherever it is you want to relock a new location. 
Um, I know it's not really the answer you want to hear because there's very little chance that something would change on that front, uh, but there aren't any plans. We're really happy with actually how the navigation works, both on the PC side as well as console to, to get around. Um, if you're like really passionate about this and you have words to say, I do encourage you to post it on forums, over on our Discord, uh, what have you, because um, you never know. I mean, I suppose it's probably not going to happen on that front, but still. Uh, we are definitely open to any amount of feedback. Uh, that's what has made the game into what it is as of right now through all of our early access folks, like many of you out there. Uh, so we are definitely not closing our ears off. That's for sure. So. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, similarly about uh, a suggestion, we've got one from J.L. Pantiossi. Um, in regards to the distance that you can act, interact with some things, like on a, a pickup, for example, have we considered putting a distance change in there so that we could select 100 meters, 150, 200, 500 and pull something out of reach that maybe gets lost in the kind of uh, asteroid set. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying. That sounds like that sounds like a, a feature request. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that, you know, it's not possible, um, but that would definitely need to be something that you would send our way and we can discuss it further either through a thread or, or whatnot. A um, little bit hard to have those conversations during the live stream. Uh, we do like to try and answer the questions of the curiosities of what's going on in the game. If you guys have suggestions, by all means, hit us up on those forums and we can discuss it more beautifully, giving it the space that it deserves. Um, it sounds like something like that is, you know, there would be a little bit of work associated with it, which is why I don't think it would be possible. But by all means, uh, submit those suggestions. I think that there's some cleverness that you guys are, are going for there. Another question from J.R. Pantiotti on YouTube still. Um, they feel like the payout from doing battle support missions is quite small. Have we got anything to say on that, or would we consider changing anything? At this time, there's not a lot of changes being made to the jobs. Um, so probably not, but that doesn't mean we have completely gone through all of the jobs yet and rebalanced or updated according to how we feel the game is operating as present state. Um, there are a number of balancing tweaks and adjustments that we are trying to push towards in favor of the player. Uh, so you guys are aware. You may or may not pick up on them in this stream. If you do, you guys are like super crazy number crunchers because it's been hard for me to see them completely. Um, but some of those little details, I mean, there we've got to go through the balance patches as we're adding more content. Otherwise, um, if we're bringing in new content and not considering how it affects everything prior, that would be a mistake. Um, so if your complaint is that the jobs aren't as satisfying because they don't feel like the payout is deserving enough, definitely seems like something we could at least uh, have an open ear towards. Um, but yeah, this is this honestly is almost like the first time I've heard of this. I, I haven't seen too many complaints about the job boards aside from uh, some other different elements. So. Excellent. Uh, right, sticking with YouTube still, uh, a question from Mihail. Uh, they find the rift locations are incredibly beautiful. Uh, mm. Big shout out to the art team there, doing a wonderful yeah, job. Sure. Uh, can we expect to see them anywhere else in the future? Can we expect to see rifts anywhere else in the future? Mm hmm. I mean, I suppose we'd have to add new locations in order to have new rifts. So maybe. I guess we'll see what happens in the future. So, <laughs> but glad you enjoyed the artwork. Yeah, we've, the, the team has definitely spent a lot of time making sure that stuff looks and feels appropriate to what you are meant to experience in these moments, right? Everything from the sound design, like shoot, we're re revamping the explosion sound again. Did we need to do that? No. Does it sound even better now? Uh, yeah. Like it's just these little tweaks and details. I mean, we, we definitely love uh, moving into those territories. Um, so more riffs. If you love riffs, I mean, I suppose that's something that we can talk about in the future if something like that were to happen. Um, but who knows? We'll see. We'll see. Good questions. Good questions. Anything else, Gary? Yeah, I've got a couple more just flying in. Another one from Mihail Sweet. over on YouTube. Um, can we expect improved generation in unknown signals? For example, they've got scanning of hard-to-reach anomalies or illegal death races or anything like that. Again, I think it's more a, a suggestion, perhaps. Yeah, it's definitely another suggestion. You guys are on it with the suggestions. I love it. I love the energy. Um, keep in mind the focus of the incursions update is all end game. So that's why we've been talking a lot about legendary items. Uh, that's why we've been talking about 
incursions themselves, we've been talking about a, a number of balancing changes and improvements in favor of the player. These things are being done to service uh, not just the story arc getting to the end, but primarily making the end more satisfying. When you're done with the story, you have more stuff to engage with and, and combine and make your own. So, um, yeah, that's all the more I can really speak towards on that front. Um, but uh, we are definitely open to suggestions, you guys. We need like a form link, be like, post suggestions here, and just let you guys click it, go over, drop these. It's great, it's great. Um, but uh, yeah. I've got one Ooh. just all that. If they want to drop in there, there is a Steam link there. If you also want to drop them in on our Discord, you're more than welcome as well. I don't know that yeah. everybody's on Steam, for example. but uh, For sure. Um, one last question uh, before I can let you fly on, Pilot. Um, cool. A question from YouTube from Seth1784. Um, they've noticed that the art book has been available on Amazon, but it's kind of out of stock. Do we have any kind of update? Are we waiting uh, for things to appear still? We are still waiting for a couple of things to uh, happen. We are very close. <laughs> Just gonna ask for your patience. <laughs> I'm giggling a little because of, uh, because of no reason associated with this whatsoever. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, we will, we will let you know once that's available. We know you guys want them in your hands and frankly speaking, we want them in your hands as soon as we can. So uh, yeah, uh, soon, TM. Right, you are free, free to fly on pilot. All right. Well, I must have you vanish, but thank you for the questions. Really appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. That's, <laughs> that's great. Your timing is very good with that. <laughs> All right. So let's tackle Gilbert Nabel Vase. And I'm going to be watching the stream, seeing how things come along. It looks like things are smooth, but if for any reason stuff starts going to the crapper and you guys are like, help! Bit rate! Just let me know. We'll fix some things. Oh man, it's feeling really smooth. Whew. I'm gonna try and use this figure of eight a little bit more. Oh! Oh, ah! Uh, Toxic Revenger, we've seen you before! Ah! Oh. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Really don't want to get frozen. I got so excited from that. Thought we had a new legendary show. Not yet. Not yet, folks. It's going to be a little longer. Let's go ahead and grab it, though. Okay, let's, let's do this. I want to talk about one... Oh. First, we have to chill. All right. I want to talk about one quick thing pertaining to figure of eight. This thing is pretty awesome. It only works on smaller targets. So if I do this, you'll see that it does not suck in the bomber. He keeps flying on, but all his drones go bye-bye. So it can be used a little bit tactically if you're trying to get those drones off your back and then focus in on a large target. It also works on the smaller fighters too. But just making sure you all are aware. All right, let's take this guy down. And after this, we'll get to the waypoint and start doing the things. We don't get frozen first. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's a lot of ship modules. Holy. You know, I said right after destroying him, I was going to uh, immediately go down, but there's still enemies I must destroy. Combat is still active, right? Gosh. I was going to start oogling over the combat that we have established in the game. Is it weird that a developer just really likes their own game. Does that come across as like braggatory? I certainly hope not. I just, gosh dang it, I really like the, the combat pacing 
Ugh. All right, let's do this. Oh wait, do I have to go to the other side first? I think I do. There's our bomb truck. I just have to figure out how Follow the cables. Here's the other end of the cable. Might be a generator behind that panel. Just need to find a way to take it out. Flop. A sign of passion I see from the chat. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, I, I really, I really do love what our team has accomplished. I think that they've done great work here. I mean, I don't know how many space game enthusiasts are out there watching the the chat right now. I would assume that there's a pretty healthy number of you. But man, like my love for like the classics of old, like especially like Tie Fighter, Privateer. I mean, I was, I was a big Descent fan, honestly. Um, I just, I really longed for games like that, and uh, it's such a pleasure to be able to join this team and work on this title, because it's doing what I have personally longed for, for a very long time, like the games of my childhood. And there's just so much satisfaction. Like, don't get me wrong, I love a great space sim too, but just being able to like jump into a, a, a fighter and just have dogfights in space or planet side, I just, it's so satisfying. I'm actually kind of curious, I mean, it kind of went on that little ranch there, but I am curious, like, um, what games you guys have played from your youth, and if this scratches a similar itch there, or if this is just something completely new to you? I'm curious. There's so many games out there, and different ways to approach them. I want to know what you guys enjoy, and why the heck you're following Everspace 2 or playing it at all. I have not tried the total conversion mod. Nope. Definitely familiar with it though. I'm, oh gosh, this is also gonna sound kind of weird, but I'm such a purist when it comes to games. Like I want to play the game itself. Like mods are amazing, don't get me wrong. But man, if I can play vanilla and it just be great, that that's what I want to stick to. I'm stubborn like that. I will say I did have a lot of fun with the uh, Star Wars Squadron's main campaign. I thought they did some things that were right, but uh, just not the same as it is here. Like this, there's so much, I don't want to say more, that's not the right word, but I'm having a hard time with words today. I just like space games, all right? Get off my back. I think it's going to stop here, so we can kind of poke in here and disable these! There we go. Nice and simple. Oh, solid. Now, I forget how much easier it is to navigate interior spaces when you're in first-person view. At least it is for me. I guess I shouldn't speak for everybody, but man, it feels like it's easier. I'm approaching a spot you've marked on my map for bomb placement. Excellent. You're directly underneath their armory. Our spies have identified four nodes in total. Bombing them simultaneously will cripple their battle readiness and set them back for some time. First one set up, three to go. Whew. All right, there we go. Beautiful. You think I don't hear you down there? Scurrying around below my decks like a little rat. To me, no. Oh, Just oh, oh. Cabling, routine, call. Situation normal. <laughs> Gosh. Some of the references we've got. Ah! I love our narration team. Our writers, I should call them. Whoop. You might want to think about evacuating this place. It's about to get real hot. Real hot? You must be one of Zealous's men. You've got bastard 
sent you to peace in my end of the pool. You will all suffer for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's me. Zealous that was a bit closer than I would have liked. Woo! I'm missing one. No. Oh, behind us. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Does this area make anyone else tense? Oh my gosh, like my hands are sweating a little bit now. Probably because the area is wet. Next level immersion. All right. Oh, Star Fox, yeah! Oh man, I was a big fan of Star Fox. I could, I could have many conversations about so many games, honestly. Just really happy that we're accomplishing what we're doing here and at Rockfish to make a pretty, pretty strong sci-fi spaceship looter shooter feels good you know we never put on our shield i wonder if this is something that we should consider um we don't really have a lot of corrosion emphasized materials here so this would just give us extra stocks of corrosion effectively I'm not too worried about the recharge speed because I have some tools to recharge the shields regardless. The capacity is nice. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. But um, I think just because of the stat boosts alone, it's probably in our best interest to use it. So we're going to need to find something to swap off, however. Mm. I'll have to think more on that. All right, let's get this bomb drone moving. They're here for the power. Oh my gosh, so this is kind of funny timing. Um, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have to take care of one quick task. Um, I'm going to need maybe about five minutes. And then I can probably explain just a tad bit more whenever I come back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to keep moving things forward, all right? It'll be, a, it'll be a good time. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> One second. <laughs>
He's back! Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, what in the world was that all about? Why did the streamer have to vanish in the middle of a prepared stream? It's almost like there was something that was completely not notified of that happened just a moment ago. Whew. <sighs> Goodness gravy. What I can say though, actually I don't know if I can say that either. Lee, can I say anything? <laughs> you tell me. But things are happening, stuff is, is moving forward. Mm. All right, Lee gave me the go ahead. So I can confirm with you all, there was the question about the um, art books from Amazon. Uh, I, can, uh, I can tell you that the pallets are getting close. So we will have notifications of when those books are available for purchase sooner than later. Truly. Whew. Exciting. I have a soundboard for this. Let's do this. Yeah. Yay. Oh. All right, what was I doing? We were blowing stuff up, right? Let's get to it. Woo, thank you for, for your patience, guys. What a, what a wonderful time for rockfish right now, am I right? Oh, gosh. I didn't even think, I could have left you on the comms, Gary. You could have entertained our guests. Oh, silly me. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll know for next time. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Hopefully y'all were kind and didn't do anything crazy. No, we're all fairly well behaved. Good, good. good. Good to hear. Ah, oh. but seriously, guys, I am excited to be able to tell you that. Because we've been, we, we really want to get these to you as soon as possible, so. Whew! Wait, activate movement. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? All right, let's get another bomb in. I suppose while I'm going through this segment, we could actually answer more questions if more have shown up. Do we have any, Gary? Uh, I've got a couple, just two lined up. Unless okay, okay. Well, flying. let's get you on the screen then, right now. Ah, magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, right, we've got one from Vicky Van Bonkers over on Twitch. Would like to know, um, with the update when it comes out for Unreal Engine 5, um, mm -hmm. Our play is going to be expected to start over brand new new game save. I love this question, and the answer is absolutely not. Uh, the difference between Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5, for all intents and purposes, is literally the number. It should have no impact on your gameplay experience whatsoever. And if it does have any impact, then it would only be a net gain, at least from our side so far of testing. But that is the intent. There will be no requirements on your end to do something new, especially wipe your saves. Absolutely not. They will remain. Good question. Excellent. Right. The other one that we've got is from Pappy over on YouTube. Mm. Um, he's seen a lot of questions on various forums about ship dealers and their stock and how it works. Has there been any thought on changing how ship dealers decide what's in their inventory? Oh yeah, there have been so many discussions surrounding that, honestly, so many. Um, I can't share with you all the details of what those looked like. Uh, what I can say is that through the process of designing Everspace 2 and the systems thereof, um, we had a lot of different renditions of what the um, trading and the commodities kind of looked like and how that all operated from where to where. Um, and a lot of that, was simplified and or scratched uh, in order for us to continue pursuing a strong combat focused looter shooter with the narrative overarching all of it. So there have been improvements to the commodity system, um, of course, um, but going into deep details as to which store is selling what, um, there was a lot of discussion on that front um, but we're pretty happy with how the storefronts are. There is a little bit of uniqueness depending on where you're going. It's not to a degree of what some conversations were like. And that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. You're free oh. to fly on pilot. Perfect. Perfect. All right. See you later, Gary. <laughs> I love it. All right. So now we need to keep getting this thing moving on. Ah! Moving on. Ooh. All right, here we go. Very, very, very good. 
Oh. Uh, is there more? I can't remember. Yes. Oh, this spot. I love this spot. It's so scenic. Thematic, even. All right, let's get you moving again. Don't hit me. Ow! You punk! What a little weasel! All right, grab bomb. Another one set up. Only one left. Right, let's go. Splish. Approaching a flooded section, long abandoned. It is unknown what might be lurking down there, and you are already aware your weapons are non-functional underwater. Right, Hive. Thanks for the pep talk. Cool. There we go. Ooh, almost there. Spooky. Like, I mean, just look at this. Just spooky. I love this bit. Oh, gives me chills. Good job, design team. Let's get a move on. All this first person mode is making me miss the first person only bomber with no inertial dampener races. <laughs> one day, one day. For some reason, I don't miss them at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a unique challenge, that's for sure. We will uh, have to try it again. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to, but man, that is hard. All right, almost there. Whew, oh, bonk. Oh, that bomb drone isn't made of aluminium. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> I told you we would find you, little rat. How does it feel to be trapped inside with your own bombs? Lol. Let's see how badly you really want to set them off. Enough that you'll go with them. He makes a good point. Perhaps we shouldn't signal the coalition to trigger the bombs just yet. We can find another way out of here. Absolutely. The power of plot armor compels us. Has been weakened by years of saltwater erosion. On it. Perfect. All right. We. I forgot I gotta take these out. Based on our last uh, results from having to fend a site, <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this. Oh, look how close he was! Ah. Satisfying. Did you make it out in one piece? Amazingly, yes. And it 
Seems like old Balakin took the bait. More than anticipated. Let's go do this job real quick. Intercepting their comms, and there are some fireworks. I urge you to pay us another visit at HQ. You surely don't want to miss this. Wonderful. Ah, enemy forces gain strength. I was wondering when we were due for that. More bad news on the arms race in the DMZ. Oh goodness, we're level 25, guys. I haven't chosen a new perk. I haven't chosen a new perk. We gotta get on that. We can choose retaliation, reflecting damage back, exploitation, which deals increased critical hit chance when attacking enemies whose movement is impaired. And preparation, every second gain 5% increased secondary weapon damage, stacking up to six times resets when taking damage. I kind of like preparation, because we could make figure of eight do some serious damage. That could be a lot of fun. Um, critical hit chance is, I mean, it's, it's that's kind of like the, the generic option here. It's good, but it's not necessarily bad either. Also kind of depends on what the build is kind of scheduled around. And reflection, I mean, I feel like I would need to have a little bit more specifics on my build to bring that together. We're just we're just kind of squishy right now. I know I'm kind of blocking the, the scene. But we're just kind of squishy right now. Um so yeah, gonna have to. I think I'm gonna go with with preparation. I, it's not my first choice usually, but I think that's what we're gonna do. I wanna see if we can stack up figure of eight and have some some fun with that. So, there we go. All right, let's go look for a legendary. If we don't see any in about 10 minutes, I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm just going to show it to you. Revealing all the things. Though, after uh, taking out these enemies, we also might um, venture to have a look at the legendaries that were highlighted yesterday. So again, it's not going to be a showcase of them. It's just going to be talking about them. Because even though we are letting RNG decide uh, which legendary is going to be shown, um, we're still working on them. <laughs> Let's see if we can get three, four... Five, six. Oh no, wrong one. Oh, we took damage. Gosh dang it. Ow! Ow! Jeez! Ah! Some serious damage. Man, my evasion is just awful. I think I need new thrusters or something. There we go. Neat. Cooling units. Nice. Gladly take those. Absolutely gladly take those. I'm going to get this Phasium, because it's also a bit more rare. I guess it's not crazy rare, but... Ooh, flawless. Good, good. For all the perks that we're not going for at the moment, but we'll definitely be going for later. Some Baramite, our good friend. If somebody just was like, Good friend, what do you mean by that? If you have never looked at the uh, description of Baramite, by all means, I'm going to read this aloud. Because of its self-replicating nature, some argue that Baramite is actually a life form. But since it does not scream when melted, nobody really cares. Baramite, my good friend. You do wonders in ship crafting and building. All right. A single copper on that shipwreck. Nice. All right, let's head back to Letho Starport. Stop shooting your good friends, Eric. Oh my gosh. 
Ooh. Yeah, you're only allowed to shoot the bad friends. No mm. good friends. Adam, no talking. Must be quiet. All right. Oh, I missed some chatters talking about how my death counter was going to go up by one. Get wrecked! <laughs> That's right. Were things close? Yeah, admittedly they were close, but... Get very excited when you, you're near death. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, you know, it's that uh, spike of adrenaline, you know? Someone just jinxed themselves? Oh, it's, a f it's fine. I don't believe in jinxes. Intergalactic PETA has heard about this. You will be hearing from their lawyer. All right, that's fair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually, there was actually um, on our new scrolling marquee, which don't worry, we've retained that in our new update here. You'll see it. Um, I actually referenced kind of a, a, a PETA style sci-fi organization, and I think I was even talking about Baramite through it. That was a long time ago. It was during early access. Definitely have had a lot of fun with those that scrolling marquee. I'm glad you guys are having fun with it too. <clears throat> so all right. Uh, let's have a quick look at jobs. And again, this since this is a dev build with some things unlocked for testing. Uh, the available jobs is massive. Just pretend like we only have like six or seven available. Um, but, uh, oh, we could do some maintenance for earth wine. Let's see, anything super, super good. Flawless fate, look at that. Eight flawless phasium crystals. I'm totally blocking it. I'm saying, look at this, and you literally can't see it. Uh, that, I think we have to do. Like, that's, that's huge. That's awesome. And if you guys are just looking at the jobs and you're not really, you're just looking at the numbers, you're doing it wrong. Because honestly, the stuff that I'm blocking here, this is the stuff that you should really be going for. Because some of the stuff that can be provided uh, from jobs can be really, really nice. That earth wine could prove to add a few more credits, uh, even though the credits on this are, you know, not too shabby. Um, but yeah, we'll just pick up the one. <clears throat> All right. I do think, um, I do think I want to get to showing you some new legendary stuff. Uh, we did get the Toxic Revenger, but that's that's not new, right? Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually adventure back to our home base where I have uh, plugged in some uh, <coughs> delightful little things for us to view. <laughs> so it's Almost like you planned it. Oh my gosh, crazy. Crazy. But on our fly back, I am really curious um, what you guys are hopeful for the Incursions update. We've been pretty happy with the direction we've taken it. We've, we've been absorbing, not just listening, but absorbing many of the desires and the suggestions that have been thrown about uh, from the community side of things um, and like pertains to in-game content. And uh, man, I'm I'm very much looking forward to, to revealing more to you all. Uh, it's almost a shame that we have to pace ourselves. <laughs> but um, I really am curious. Because I know that we've only been shown, I think... I think the total new legendary count that you guys have officially seen is at five? I think. But I've only seen like two in actual gameplay. Just curious. I'm coming up on the 1 billion credits mark, wondering what happens. <laughs> That's a lot of in-game credits. Mr. Kato wants to ask you to invest in something <laughs> probably with that many. <laughs> nice. Ah, credits. Fantasy wealth, says Bearded Frog. Very, very according. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Very, very appropriate response there. It's good. Also seeing praise for the soundtrack from Mihail. 
I think. Music in the game is awesome. I even bought the soundtrack. Please give great thanks to the composer. Yeah, Gero has done a phenomenal job. Um, and he's the one, like, with the explosions that you hear in the, the streams from uh, two weeks ago to today, like, he's also the one doing, like, all of the sound design remastering. Most of it. I shouldn't say all of it. He's doing most of it. Uh, a couple other team members from time to time will uh, definitely pop in and, and do a little bit of tweaking and, and additioning and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, it's been, uh, who? yeah, man's a legend. He, he makes my ears very happy. Yes. Very much so. <clears throat> Almost there. Almost there. <clears throat> so because we didn't have something randomly fall into place, I suppose to a degree, I could ask you guys which one of these legendary items you would like to see be used. All of these legendary items were showcased yesterday in a little document. So if you've read it, you've seen them, just the, the text application of them. But we can do more than just that. So let's, uh, let's talk about them. These are not them. Those are the ones we've had. Now we have shown Ritual before. Many of you are familiar with Ritual. This is effectively the Seeker Missile Battery from Everspace One. Unleashes a swarm of 10 autonomous homing missiles, seeking a ra random targets in front of you. Damage is increased by 5% for each targeted enemy, and they cannot be intercepted. The next one... Oh, I see a question that says, what document? Um, Gary, would you be able to... Would you be able to get a link to that, actually? Yeah, I'll go grab one now. Okay. So Gary's going to plug in a link to the document that I keep referring to. The, the document. That sounds so... <laughs> something, something about that sounds very, you know... Mm. But, um, yeah, we shared an update. It was on Steam. I think it was also on our website, I think. Probably. Mm -hmm. I hope it was. Um, and so uh, it has a video that you can watch that has Uva and Michael talking about the 10-year anniversary of Rockfish. Um, and then there's a slew of legendary items, which I'm actually showing you right here, that you just got a picture of literally this. But if you want me to, I can visually show you one of these. I would like to show you Epicenter. I think it's particularly fun. Uh, this guy, Teleporter, whenever you use the Teleporter, it creates a shockwave at the target location, dealing uh, up to damage amounts uh, to enemies within 200 meters and stunning them for two seconds. So if you like the teleportation device, this one can be mwah, chef's kiss. Very, very nice. We have this one, Fields of Mayhem. This one did have a screenshot associated with it. If you like sticky turrets and were really upset with us because we capped it at, what was it, four? I can't remember what the cap was. And we're like, man, Rockfish, you don't know what you're doing with the game. It was so much fun to have more. Well, guess what? You can have more. Not only can you have more, but this enables the ability to launch as many sticky turrets as you can. All you have to do, the only pre prerequisite is that you have to have a sticky turret in your bar. And then you can literally just launch as many as you want. It does get capped. It says on here at 18... In our document yesterday, I said it again, the document, it said 22. <laughs> We're still balancing it out. I honestly don't know what the specific number is. It says 18 here and it's probably locked in in our current build. That may change. But regardless, uh, yeah, lots of turrets. It's very nice. It's very nice. The next one that we showed in our document yesterday was Pestilence. If the initial target of the Annihilator virus survives the infection, it will remain infected and suffer another burst of damage after six seconds. <laughs> so if you like crowd control and you're using like the corrosion injector with the Annihilator virus and the EMP, this this is just like extra savagery on top of that. Like it it makes sure that if they were going to die, they do. It's it's wonderful. Definitely definitely a a wonderful little tool here. And last but not least, we have Hunter's Fang, which would also be a great one to showcase if you guys wanted to see it. This one is a thermogun, a legendary thermogun. I think it looks super cool. 
After hitting an enemy, the projectiles will continue to track up to two consecutive targets within 300 meters, dealing 30% reduced damage with each jump. So hits, jumps, uh, and uh, it keeps jumping with reduction over and over. It's quite fun. It's quite fun. So these were the these were the five that we uh, revealed yesterday. So now I'm gonna just leave it to you guys. We've shown ritual already, so that one's that one's out. We can show epicenter. We can show fields of mayhem. We can show pestilence. We can show hunter's fang. Just type in chat which one you want to see. And uh, after like some thirty seconds or so, I'm just gonna see general general responses and we will uh go from there oh i'm seeing some love for both fields of mayhem coming in strong with two also hunter F hunter's fang also has two two more for hunter's fang it has taken the lead i'm i've got a very strict timer keep going guys keep going i see epicenter <laughs> now okay i get it i see a kazaa for turrets another turrets mayhem oh my gosh turrets is coming back oh my gosh hunter and mayhem we're showing one Unless Lee would let us show too. Um, <clears throat> look, this is this is close. This is close. Oh my gosh! The, 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 I got to start counting. This is crazy. One, two, th uh, three, four, <laughs> five, six. <laughs> no, every, no one's gonna pester Lee because I said that. I'm sorry, Lee, but also not really. <laughs> Oh my God. And then we got to six you had to oh. use both hands i can feel him shaking his head right now i can actually feel it oh my gosh um <laughs> show nothing <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh you get nothing good day sir oh my gosh eric needs help counting uh you know it's true i, I went to art school not math school uh it's great lee says go for two ladies and gentlemen we got approval from Lee to show you two of them. So we're gonna show not one, but two, and the votes showed you guys very much wanted both Fields of Mayhem and Hunter's Fang. Uh, seriously, Lee, thank you for the approval. Uh, Fields of Mayhem did have a screenshot, so you've technically kind of already seen it, but now you get to see it in action. Love it. So in order to do this, we're gonna just pop off Omni Manus, and we're gonna plug in Fields of Mayhem we're going to also put in face planning because we really should do this with some pizzazz and whatnot. We'll bring Hunter's Fang along with, with us in order to highlight it accordingly. Now we just need to find some fools. Oh, we also we, we also need to, of course, um, craft. Uh, we need to get some turrets. Oh, where are your turrets? There we are. So now that we have these turrets, we have access to an infinite number of these. I'll just show you here. They launch a lot faster too. It just keep going. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. This is what happens alongside Fields of Mayhem. We just keep going. Oh, there we go, one exploded. I'm not gonna count them out because I'm apparently bad with math, but <laughs> that's the effect it has. Let's go use it. Let's go use it. We all love Lee, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go dunk on some outlaws. What? Where are all of them? They get scared I was talking about all of the turrets. <laughs> They're like, oh crap! The kazaning is happening. Get out of there! All right, let's go one more. Where are they? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I know. I feel like there's always outlaws harassing that poor little station. The dude just wants a thank you and outlaws are just constantly barraging him. Nothing here too. It's just, it's gone quiet. Everyone is hiding. Everyone is hiding. They know. They know. They heard you come um, in Eric. That was the thing, you know. <laughs> Your voice transcended the uh, regions. <laughs> <laughs> Surely we've got some fools to crush here. Surely. What? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. I was about to just be like, how, how is this even possible? Uh, let's see. Got some over here. We're getting, getting tidbits here and there. Maybe not the best place. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just keep going. Why not? Ow, ow. Turrets, get them. <laughs> ah, yes. Mm. You stop that. Oh, it's a teleporter drone. Devious. <laughs> What a devious little punk. There we go. Crunch now. Ah, oh, yes. Fields of mayhem. And again, this thing has basically all but removed the timer on these sticky turrets. I can keep going. I mean, obviously, the old ones are getting crushed here. The only thing that it really requires is just a little bit of setup. That's it. Now, these uh, turrets, uh, if I recall correctly, will not despawn when you leave. But they will... Um, but they will despawn when you go to a new location and you start firing them somewhere else. So, like, we can come over here and chase this guy down and just be like, lol. Look at him. Look at him! Oh, those turrets! Hive told me good shot. <laughs> Isn't that great? So yeah, this is a little bit of a throwback, but we're also honoring a user known as Kaza. if you didn't pick up on that from our statements. Um, he was a user who actually shared uh, a number of insane, um, I don't even want to call them builds, just screenshots with a absolute crazy abuse using sticky turrets. And we had to patch it because it was too much. It, it was too much. It was not intended gameplay. We had to dial things back. But that being said, and kind of figuring out limitations of what uh, would be acceptable as well as providing a legendary item to do so, we decided, you know what? Let's honor this. Let's capitalize on this. Let's have fun with it. So it's re-entered the playing field. Very, very good. I mean, truly, it is a pleasure for me to be able to show that to you. As well as Hunter's Fang. Let's get this one on board. Uh, let's also show you what happens when I remove this. Uh, hopefully it won't crash the game. It should just uh, have them all explode. Um, where did my cargo unit go? Did I have a cargo unit? Did I did I sell my cargo unit or something? Well, let's just craft a new cargo unit. No, I need a module. Here we go. Just plugging it in so that we can then put in Hunter's Fang. And let me tell you why, guys. I actually very much enjoy this. Yeah, all the turrets just exploded. So you can't use it and then exchange to another legendary and exploit that. Sorry. We thought of that first. Um, and one enemy is not enough for this. We've got to get several. I have an idea. One second. There's definitely no tomfoolery occurring on screen whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything is fine. Everything is working as intended. Oh my gosh, guys. It's crazy. I just got ambushed by a bunch of outlaws. But what a perfect case to show you uh, Hunter Sfang in action. Check this out. Ready? Here we go. Mm. Also, hopefully we don't die. The fact that I'm almost dying is uh, <laughs> a little silly here. But you can see that the Hunter's Fang, it just keeps going from one target to another. It does not care. All right, gonna have to change over to our ult so we don't explode, never mind. Apparently I missed the four button. <laughs> Oops. Oops! It's a showcase, so it technically doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it counts. <laughs> 
in retrospect, I probably should have spawned those in at level 25 instead of 23. But I digress. We'll show it again. Uh, we need to... Oh, gosh dang it. I have to craft a thing. Here, we'll just, we'll just take figure of eight off. And uh, then we'll put Hunter's Fang on. All right. So let's just find those small pockets of enemies. That'll be easier. So that's how the master does it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, here we go. This will this will be nice and effective. So yeah, you can see the the other drone just did not have a chance. We're focused on the outlaw tormentor, and it's a little he got too far away from the others, unfortunately. But at the very least, you can see uh, the aesthetic of Hunter's Fang. It's a very nice, crisp green with like a sharp uh, red at the tip of them. Pretty stinking neat, if I do say so myself. And I don't think we're going to be able to see it because there's no enemies nearby. But uh, any enemies nearby, the shot will continue to split into more. If they are close enough. And they can they don't have to be like super close. Oh come on. And now I need more energy. Here we go. This one should start hitting the drone. Oh yeah, the drone's gone. It just dies. I wasn't even focused on the drone, but because the shots were nearby. And you can see a couple were trailing over to this one as well. So it's definitely a, a more situational uh, legendary. But Hunter's Fang, like if you're definitely in the midst of something like, I don't know, say a rift, this thing can actually dish out some pretty large amounts of firepower without requiring a clear direction of firing. So it can come in quite handy. Right, we're going to use our alt to clean this up a little bit. A teleport drone in particular. Oh yeah. That's two more legendaries that are in the works. Going to available, going to be available this spring. Really happy to be able to show these to you guys. And uh, let me tell you what guys, even though we showed you five legendaries in that little document yesterday, and I'm showing you how they operate, two of them, how they operate today. We still have a lot more coming. Woo! Gosh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Document. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are going to uh, take the... Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to reload our save back at home base. So that way we, didn't, we don't... Um, actually, we can even go all the way back here. So what I'm going to do for this, that was the showcase segment. I want to dive out of that to save our game proper since we don't have those items. Um, so we'll go ahead and just uh, dock here. We'll save our game state. And this is where we'll pick up next time. And I'm pretty confident that next, I know that we've been flying the Sentinel for a while. I'm pretty confident that in two weeks from now, uh, whether it's myself or Gary streaming, we will be able to show a different ship just to give that, you know, more variety of play and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's been, I really do appreciate your guys' patience and in, uh, in that it's almost like we have new stuff to show in regards to ships or something. Um, but we have a lot of details that we are going through to set everything up for you guys to present all of this content. Um, and we're just really happy with how a lot of it has been coming together. Um, I can't wait to show you more. Um, looking forward to doing that for all of you. Ah, goodness. Things are coming together so well. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take a very minor break. When I come back, we're going to have some screenshots to share. We actually have a pretty large amount from the last two weeks. And they were chef's kiss. Very good stuff from all of you guys. And then we will continue answering questions, hanging out, having a good time. So give me just one moment. I'll see you in a moment. Yes. <laughs>
Oh man, you know what would be super cool is if when answering questions, we can also have Gary on the screen at the same time. That would be just super amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ah, oh, so great. So good. <laughs> so uh, now you get both of us on this screen being able to talk and share and all of that fun stuff uh, through these screenshots. Because seriously, guys, we have some, some fantastic ones uh, this week. So, and I just closed my screenshot folder. Lol, come back to me. All right, there you are. Um, so yeah, first we have to give just tremendous amount of praise to all of you everywhere for sharing your shots over on uh, Discord, over on Steam, uh, where have you. Um, we have some phenomenal photographers out there. Uh, this one comes from a user called It's YFP. Now this user has been taking screenshots in Everspace 2 as far back as early access, if I recall correctly, and their work is always just stunning. Um, I want to say that they don't doctor up the photos too much. Um, I do think that there's a little bit of tricks and, and details that they do here and there, uh, but generally speaking, the way that they set up these and, and prepare them and showcase them, it's, it's always a visual feast. Um, and I'm gonna showcase five screenshots from user it's YFP as we start answering some of those questions out there right now. Right, we've got a question uh, from Mihail over on YouTube. Um, with traversing the solar <clears throat> systems in the various regions, uh, they're wondering if we can expect any improvements in uh, moving around quicker, for example. I wonder if you could touch on the various ways that you can traverse quicker. Yeah, so there have been, we had a lot of discussions about um, <clears throat> the travel system in general with Everspace 2. Um, we wanted it to be something that felt intentional, but also something that didn't, that, that would honor your time as well. Um, and so after a, a number of sort of iterations, we settled on, I want to call it a three movement system. You have your immediate space that you operate in, uh, kind of like this beautiful scout that's just being incredible, um, which includes both your standard thrusting uh, and your boosts and your cruise drive, right? Um, so that allows you to have slow speeds to carefully navigate, allows you to boost while in combat, allows you to cruise when outside of combat to, to find sources, points of interest. And then the next level up from that is super light. Super light allows you to get from one unique location to another one. You're all very familiar with that. Oh my gosh, that... That detail is so good. Ah, um, <laughs> with super light, you're traveling from one point to another, generally speaking in a, in a fairly fast uh, capacity. If you were to convert it into like um, actual movement, realistic movement, it's not at all. Like you're definitely going crazy amounts of speeds to get from one point to another across the solar system. Um, and then, and through that, that allows you to find other sights and sounds along the way, uh, still honoring your time. We created the challenges that also uh, allows you to get an unlock to speed that up in each respective system. So if you do a couple of key challenges, boom, you create an even faster speed of super light. And then last but not least, we have the spatial bypass. And the spatial, oh, Gosh, uh, and then we have the spatial bypass, which effectively allows you to go from one location directly to another one in a completely different system. You do have to craft these, um, but once you have them all established, you can get around quite quickly without too much dilly-dallying. Um, but still, we did very much intentionally design everything to honor the player's time while giving interesting sights and sounds to see along the way, um, or be able to get there with a little bit more haste. Lots of considerations were, um, were implemented and some uh, details like we had it a, what, what would it be called? Uh, a disrupting, what was, interception? Interception, we had like an interception system kind of like a, as a test run a long, long time ago, I think it was in the pre-alpha, and we discovered that it just didn't work. It just wasn't working for us because it, instead of allowing the player to have control of where they were going, it was pulling the player out. So it was not honoring the player's time, even if it was immersive. So that's why we've designed the systems the way we have. You choose where you're going. There's variable speeds at each different of these three tiers. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of information for uh, a 
single question, but I hope that was as, as uh, detailed as possible for you. Uh, we love answering questions around here. We love being as transparent as possible. Um, yeah, that's what we do. Excellent. Good stuff. Uh, excellent. Uh, Wizard Jerry on YouTube would like to know, regarding the special attack of the Okar Prime Protector, mm. is there an actual official name for that weapon? Apart from ping pongs. <laughs> um, I think it's called the Okar Sphere is its official name. But, I mean, how would you guys know that? That's just kind of like the details that we've used um, in the backend data. Um, I wouldn't necessarily you know, be bound to that. It could definitely change. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just called the Okar sphere. Pretty sure. Yeah. It's either sphere that, fear. <laughs> it's either, it's either Okar sphere or maybe it's Okar. No, no, it's, I'm pretty sure it's energy sphere. It's gone through a couple of different names, but honestly, like it's not needed since you can't like ever do anything with it. It's just, it's attack. <clears throat> I see a random rock and stone in chat. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's great. Uh, this, this is a Wendy's or this is Everspace too. Like, uh, <laughs> it's great. It's great. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. Uh, let's go over to a new screenshotter, by the way. This one comes from Cam Camamro. Camamro? Um, oh, it's low quality. Ah, it's a it's a lower quality one, but we're gonna maximize it anyway. Um, got a couple to show from this user. Um, the, I liked their pleasant use of atmosphere. Um, just you know, really signaling that space exploration uh, coming together. The next shot that they have is also really pleasant. It's just kind of like a flyby with GMB. You'll see it in just a moment once we answer this question. Uh, we've got a question from Pappy over on YouTube. Uh, yeah. They said that they know that Unreal Engine 5 was not implemented for changes to the game specifically, but there were, were any changes that came about essentially because of Unreal Engine 5. For example, they were wondering if any of the sound changes had to do with things that were allowed in UE5 rather than UE4. I This is an incredibly technical question. Um, so I can't give you a straight 100% accurate answer on it. To my understanding and my assistance on everything coming together for Everspace 2, uh, no, there were not anything that was held back or required change because it worked a certain way in Unreal Engine 4 and so it wasn't allowed to work in Unreal Engine 5 so we had to like rebuild it or something like that. Um, basically, dang near everything was able to be migrated over. It's just that process of tweaking, refining, and reestablishing within the norms of a completely different engine. Even though they're both Unreal Engine, uh, that number... Uh, plays a pretty large part in how things are triggered, how things are optimized, uh, how everything truly operates. If there is a, a team member, if there's a, another um, Rockfish staff member in the chat who has more information on that, I would love to have them chime up. There might not be. Uh, it's a little bit of a tricky time for Rockfish right now. Um, but if you do want more details on that, also hit me up over in the Discord. I'd be happy to follow up and provide more information if there is any. So uh, I, I do love that question. It's a really cool question. Um, and I want to get it answered as thoroughly as possible as I, that I can. So here's the other shot from uh, Kamamro, just flying alongside of his GMB uh, fighters, I guess. Maybe he's the escort, probably. So what's another question we got? Um, we've got a question from Excelsior over on YouTube. Um, is there any news or thoughts on adding a photo mode when for use in Supra Light Flight? Yeah, so originally we were going to do that and then it created a crap ton of problems. <laughs> um, there are there are actually individuals who have found sort of cheats and workarounds to do it. Um, while I can't be an advocate of breaking our game open, um, if you wanted to explore what that looks like, you could probably have a chat within the community space and somebody might be able to, to point you in the right direction. But there is no, uh, there are no plans to have the... Um, screenshot mode also operating in super light. So a good question, a good question. Probably a frustrating answer to you, um, but that's just kind of how things happen sometimes. So thank you for your understanding of that. The next shot comes from Kariston. Um, so this shot might just seem really basic and you're just like, wow, okay, it's a screenshot of getting ready to start a race. This dude was completely gypped. <laughs> <laughs> he got 17, but he got the plot, uh, the gold. 
He got the gold, not the platinum. Oh, so there must be like a one right over here. He was, he was just short of that. I've never seen anyone have this occur. That is just wild to me. The, the matter of unlock, but, um, geez, I imagine that the user has now gone back and completed it. In fact, I think after he shared this, he, he did, but, uh, wow. I don't know if I'm ever, if anybody would ever see that again, that that's had to have been so close by one thousandth of a second off. Jeez. That's just wild to me. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to cycle over to some screenshots from Kazaa now. Um, Kazaa should sound familiar because Fields of Mayhem uh, honors some of the, I guess you could call it playtesting that he did uh, during uh, early access. So here's some screenshots from the man uh, as we answer some more questions, if we got them. Yeah, I've got one uh, from Zerul over on YouTube. Um, they're wondering, and it's kind of a tied in with a suggestion as well, have we thought about adding a way to specifically target um an item for a specific slot so if we were going to into a rift for example and we wanted a specific legendary we could get that as a loot drop of some description oh yeah okay so i have seen this request before um yeah so there aren't there there's no way to do that um what we have designed for our uh legendary and even set item system is that it's actually it's i don't think it's actually done with legendaries maybe i need to take one step back with set items, I know that there are certain sets that can only be found at certain, like within certain systems. Um, I know we have the discussion with legendary items on that front, but uh, instead we have three legendary items that can be procured from doing specific side missions. Um, if you, the, so the if there were any plans pertaining to um, curating a loot drop possibility uh there's there's not really any at this time um there has definitely been discussion surrounding it which is actually why it's implemented for set items um but uh yeah that's I, I love that i love that thought it's almost a suggestion if you will um would definitely encourage you to supply that over on discord and there the forums there or on the steam forums there uh to see what other people think as well because uh, we are very much fueled by your guys' thoughts and passions. Uh, it's it's good stuff. Also, I think I got a I think I got a thing. Hang on, need to need to check a thing. Making sure I'm not saying any, anything incorrectly. Probably. Oh my gosh. No, just getting distracted from other chatters. That's all. Everything's fine. All right. Next, let's go to the next. Um, uh, let's go to the next. Um, hang on. Hang on a second. <laughs> there we go. Everything's everything's good now. Jeez. Let's go over to Limon eighty four dash one. We've got one screenshot to share from them. <laughs> Um, spaceship just flying off into the yonder. Actually, I love this shot of the Keone system. I think it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, in fact. Uh, love the bright color contrast. Not so much uh, of varying hues, but just of the dark and the light. I think it really comes together well here. So let's go ahead and answer another question. <laughs> um, I've got one lined up from Excelsior again over on YouTube. Uh, have we considered adding bosses, for example, the first Rosalind boss encounter, as mini bosses during regular gameplay, like a GMB Elite Interception, for example? I mean, we would love to do more and more and more and more, and bosses are no different. I mean, the whole reason why we have like a lit, uh, like a mini boss encounter at the end of destroying a base is one of that itches that we wanted to scratch. Um, it's also why HRAs exist. Um, it's why there's always like a boss at the end of a rift. So uh, having more specific bosses, what it sounds like kind of what you're asking for, um, would definitely be really cool, especially if we were focused on in-game content and needed to revisit a little bit of that. So let's go to the next screenshot and let's answer some more questions. This one comes from Pesky Husky. I think this is an incredibly clever screenshot, honestly. I think that this one's really well done. Just having the pigeon stare breaking the imagery in half. Um, that's just a fun screenshot. Very unique. 
Love the sense of uh, direction that you tried to capitalize on that pesky husky. So get a thumbs up for me. Definitely enjoy it. So uh, good stuff. What uh, do we have another question? Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. All, all quiet. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep go cruising through. We actually have a lot of screenshots from the next user, Sonazaki. Oh, these screenshots. These screenshots. This mad lad has been supplying us with gorgeousness for I don't even know how long. But uh, as you can see, uh, it's amazing. It's, it's printed off as a poster. Slap it on your wall. And he doesn't just do this from time to time. Like this, this guy, he's just notorious for every single one of his shots just to be flawless, really. Um, Sonazaki has been win within the community sharing screenshots. He is a galactic photographer uh, for quite some time now. Um, and every time he just truly captures the environments and the ships to every degree and capacity that they should do. He does a wonderful job with a sense of scale and scope within these screenshots, utilizing depth of field really well. Um, just love, love the guy, love the way that he brings it all together. Really, really good. So, I remember correctly, there was one Everspace one screenshot. It took months to try and get. Oh, he, he's yeah. very dedicated. You know. Yeah. Um, I, it might have actually been similar to this one, if I recall. But um, but yeah, he, he was going for all these different types of styles and uh, directions and everything he produced. Some shots it would take him a long time, but he, he had an idea. He had a vision for how he wanted to set it up, and then he would have to fly through the game until he could get it lined up. And with Everspace 1 being a roguelike, it definitely took him a while. So yeah, very cool, very great stuff from his end. I kind of blew through those really fast. I'm gonna give him a little bit more love because I'm watching the time. I think we've got a little bit more time just to kind of show them one more time as well. Did we have a, another question, Gary? Uh, no, not yet. Um, okay. Although Marlo over on YouTube was wondering, uh, will there be any more interesting puzzles that we'll kind of bring to the game? Um, they kind of tied a little bit of shoving energy spheres hmm. in the batteries, et cetera. Um, yes. Or were you looking to bring something different? I mean, it's, it's always a possibility. Um, that's super generic response to if we had news on that front, then we would share it whenever we could. Um, for the incursions update specifically, I'd just like to continue to remind folks that our focus there is on the end game side of the content. So you're probably not going to see too much revisiting of puzzles or new puzzles since that wouldn't really be applicable to our approach on that front. But never say never. Maybe I'm completely lying to you and there's a great surprise around the corner. <laughs> Gosh, I probably shouldn't do that, I'm sorry. Uh, but sincerely, I would temper those expectations. Um, uh, puzzles would be something we would have to spend quite a bit of time on if we wanted to add, because it does need to be meaningful, right? It needs, to, it needs to be fun if we were gonna add something new in that field. So if we have news to share on that front, We'll share it when we have the news to share. Redundancy is redundant. Perfect. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. More question? Or am I just highlighting? Nothing at the moment. Okay. Nothing at the moment. Neat. Very, very good. <laughs> See the chat. Eric is lying, but saying he is transparent sounds sus. I have never lied a day in my life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, seriously, though, major kudos to Sonazaki. I feel like he brings this together so well. But uh, next shot we have from the Chemical Bro. Chemical Bro usually has these very deep, rich, high contrast shots. This one, I really enjoy. It's a little bit out of his sort of comfort zone. He's trying to find something different. And you have this uh, space shuttle almost like crashing down into, I think that's Avon Rest, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it... It, it looks very cinematic, like something crazy has happened here on their docking approach. We got swarmed by outlaws or something that happened, or we got swarmed by the player character. Uh, <laughs> but really love how it comes together. I think it's it wants to share a story. That's what, that's what speaks to me about this shot. And in a way, d d call me crazy, this actually reminds me of the opening of Freelancer. Do you see it? Do you see it? Tell me somebody sees it. You know how it's like the starport uh, has like the, we're under attack, blah, 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 or whatever. And then like, it, it has like that explosion. For some reason, this kind of like speaks to me on account of that. Obviously it's different, but there's something about it. Do you, do you see it? 
Did Super Scarp says, I can kind of see it. Thank you. I appreciate the validation. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think, but ultimately I think that uh, uh, Chemical Bro did a pretty clever job here. Um, we've got one last user who's shared a number of screenshots with us. It was Typed Kibbles 960. Going to go through several of theirs that they distributed on the Discord. And by the way, all of the screenshots that I'm sharing today, if you can't get enough of these and you're like, man, I want more, you can always go to the Steam page for Space 2 and look at screenshots and you will not be sad. It will just make you so happy. You can go to our Discord and see where people are sharing screenshots. Also a great place to share your own, to be highlighted in the course of these streams. Uh, it's a pretty good time overall. We like giving you praise because uh, you guys are pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool folks. So uh, this shot also comes from Typed Kibbles. All of these come from Typed Kibbles. Uh, this one got a little bit of love from other users in the Discord. I think it's just a nice scenic shot of Avonrest. <clears throat> I'm going to do a quick check to see if there's any questions that were missed. Um, I do I do see a question. Um, it's a very specific question, but let's go ahead and answer it. Uh, do you see the one from Sniper? Yes. Yep. Uh, so Sniper is wanting to know uh, over on Twitch, uh, what is the timeline for getting more glimpses of the expansion? Uh, um, or rather, is the work on it going on now, or is everybody focused on the update and the UE5? I so did kind of answer him a little bit further down as well. Uh, so, so yeah. So, th I mean, there's... There's, there's a lot to that actually. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of simplify it. For right now, our focus is absolutely migrating to Unreal Engine 5 while also ensuring this free content update is incredibly pleasing, very satisfying for users who have either reached the end game or give more purpose to those who haven't quite reached it yet. Like that's, that is the large focus that we're doing. Now, of course, we've told you our plans of what we want to do out in that future period, right? Like we've told you about like the, the dreadnought, the Leviathan, more, more, more. Like we've, we've spoken these words so you know it's out there. There is absolutely a process that has to occur in order for that to move forward with, and those processes are moving forward. But we don't want to put any carts before the horse. We have to put one foot in front of the other. And in order to do that, I can soundly say that our focus right now truly has been and is migrating to Unreal Engine 5, as well as the contents that is being prepared for the Incursions update. When we have more news to share on the future of Everspace 2, we will absolutely let you know. You know that I want to tease you all. You know that I just want to show you everything. So uh, the moment that I basically get the signal to, I'm going to, that's, that's just how it works. So <clears throat> it's a good question, good question, so. Good, good stuff. This is another shot from Typed Kibbles from a location that not many people I'm discovering have actually been to. So uh, definitely mm -hmm. an, an eye opener um, for those of you who have not explored too much of the Keone region, because there's uh, some interesting things going on and some, I don't want to call it challenging, but definitely some unique things that you've got to figure out in this space. Of the Ooh, yes. <laughs> so definitely turns one's head. But good stuff. We've been having some really good questions today. Um, mm -hmm. Very, very good. Oh, I see another question. Uh, YouTube. Um, oh, Marlo. Um, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, will trading be expanded possibly to a degree we've seen in the Egosoft titles, such as X4? Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, Egosoft titles, um, they are notorious for having great amounts of detail um, in their simulation aspects and trading is no different on that front. Uh, it was never the plan for Everspace 2 or Everspace 1, like the franchise as a whole, to really focus in on like a heavy simulation or trading aspect. Um, in fact, our entire push was being able to jump into the game, fly around, blow stuff up. That is the goal of Everspace Classic and Everspace 2. Like that is, that is what we want the capabilities to be. The trading systems that have been implemented into Everspace 2 um, were to honor those who want a trading system, uh, but we intentionally left it um, without too much depth, right? You have different systems that want certain resources and you can acquire those resources from a different system. Um, and if you play your cards right and also use light, utilize Superlight, you can actually make a, a lot of credits through that system but it is not 
anything that was ever going to be dynamic. It was not anything that was ever going to be uh, rich and detailed to uh, some crazy degree. Um, we're very happy with where it sits so that people can be satisfied with that while our focus is on the looter shooter uh, space combat. So too long didn't read. The short answer is no, the trading is probably not going to be expanded. There are no plans. Um, if anything were to change, they would be minor. Um, and we can talk about what that would look like if that happens, when it does, if it does, how it does, whatever. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Probably not the answer you want, but that's that's where we're at. That, it's always been our vision to push uh, this focus instead of that. Um, so thank you for your understanding on it. This last shot from Typed Kibbles, uh, I think he said this was like having fun in the ball pit. I think that's pretty clever. Um, and it's also, I think that this one speaks to anybody who uses the bomber. I, I don't know very many people who don't use corrosion mines and bombers. <laughs> like, it is just... Such a powerful combination, honestly. You get your bomber, you put, you fill all three slots with corrosion mines to varying degrees, and then you just like rotate them and spam them. Like they're so strong. Um, it's it's really good. Maybe we should nerf that, Gary. Do you think we should nerf it? Make everybody upset? Yeah, might as well, you know. Give yeah, it's good. It's <laughs> cool. Yeah, we'll just take everyone off and just make that irrelevant. Um, I have some uh, <laughs> questions, so we'll just deflect away from that very quickly. Excellent, perfect. <laughs> Uh, we've got a we're question not gonna from it. Briggs <laughs> over on YouTube. Uh, just wants to know, do you think we'll, with Everspace we'll ever see ship landing with like anywhere with like landing gear and uh, any kind of base building? Mm. Uh, so I, this is a, this is a great question. This is also something that we've had asked through the early access period. So I'm happy, happy to respond to this one, uh, though you probably won't be happy with the, the result. We have no plans, never had any plans to land and have, outside of vehicle walking or um, other vehicle um, interactions. Like you're not, you're not ever going to get in like a car, for example. Um, there were no plans to ever do that. We wanted the core of Everspace, both one and two, to be your character is the spaceship. So all of your interactions, all of your customization, all of your, um, <clears throat> all of your everything surrounds the ship. So being pulled outside of the ship is something that we wanted to be very limiting on, which is why we only really do it in one situation, which is for, in many cases, story purposes of utilizing a drone to navigate into a small space to allow your ship to get in deeper. That's, that's as far as that's going to go. There's, um, it's easy for me to say there's no plans to do this, but this is something that just mm -hmm. won't happen. And I want that to be very clear. Uh, there's there it will not happen you will never get out of your ship um in ever space too oh yep. so guys that is time um that's the end of the stream uh, we hope that you have enjoyed the time together for us being able to showcase all of these really remarkable screenshots and having gary on screen too now i think has been just kind of a pleasure so you can see that he's not just um imaginary friend who somehow has a voice he actually <laughs> is present um and uh, yeah, there's not too much else to say. Um, I will say there aren't going to be any after stream shenanigans. My throat is unfortunately not doing so hot. I'm going to need to cool off afterwards. Um, so sorry for the audience that wants me to be silly. Um, but, you know, that will definitely come back. Um, for the time being, we are going to continue pushing out um, little teasers here and there for incursions as we are capable of doing so. Uh, but also note that we are, uh, there's a lot of work here, okay? So your patience is appreciated if we ever get to a stream where we don't have something new to show. It's only because we're taking very intentional time to prepare it for you and to reveal it at the right moment. So thanks again for all of you guys. You have been absolutely awesome. I have been absolutely Eric, your community ambassador. Gary, what do you got to say? Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And don't stop being awesome. We'll catch you in the next stream in two weeks from today. Toodles! <laughs>